right, our uh, second championship match of the day. I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Don Smegegi. Don, I haven't heard your voice since I had to rewatch that cringeworthy match I had with Dave Dawson where I had to tap out. Uh, you know, you may say it was cringeworthy, but I haven't seen a technical Matt wrestling match like that in years. I technical wrestling in WWE is a dying breed, so it was nice to kind of revive it for a match. Here we go. But not to say that we don't have athletic wrestlers because despite Pierce's uh, size, he's a gr in great shape, and Armani has got some educated Feet. As Jim Ross used to say, one foot went to Harvard, one went to Yale. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing these two. Yeah. Uh, I like these two guys. I've been following Eric Pierce for, for a long time here. Pierce has made a uh, big impact. Uh, arguably the biggest out of any of the new guys in the last year because he does have a championship. That's true. Uh, he came in with the class of Logan as Chris Terror, Hell's Guardian, who is now HG. Yeah. And uh, he, yeah, you're right. He's got that gold around him. Yeah. Well, I mean, no disrespect to the hybrid hey. champion. But it is third tier championship, but it doesn't mean it's not a prestigious championship. No, you gotta start somewhere. I, I mean, that's where Armani started. Armani was the hybrid champion, and then two years, two and a half years later, he's heavyweight champion. Yeah, we, they came in around that time uh, when Armani was the, the champion, the big champion. There we go. Oh, there we go. Eric Pierce keeping the little man grounded. Uh, I mean, uh, you know. There's guys that have, you know, multiple heavyweight champions have been hybrid champions. Eric Drake, Big C, Dave Dunn, Ace Armani, CJ Price, Aaron Douglas, the list goes on and on. Hybrid title is not won by slouches, we'll say that. No, it, it's, a, it's a good head. A single step is the start of a jersey. And you've got to start at that first step. Well, when WMWA started, to give you a little bit of a history lesson there, Smigahi, uh, there were six championships. Wow. Yes, there was two tag. The two tags. Pay attention. There we go. Come on, Pierce. The crowd getting a little rowdy. Oh, that's a nice head scissor. Somebody throw, was throwing streamers. You know. Armani back to his feet. There we go. There we go. Good technical wrestling right there. Damn good stuff. Cucumber. Cucumber. The cucumber. <laughs> I see a lot of similarities between Pierce and Armani with their hybrid title reign. Now the main event scene when Armani started was really big, it was really good. Uh, and Armani, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Armani was in his match is known as retaining the hybrid title and defending it. And that's what Pierce has been doing with his hybrid title reign, getting noticed by defending that championship. Eric Pierce, oh, another round uh, here by, by Armani. Keep him down. Oh, hard nice job by Armani. Very nice. So that's kind of what you got to do with a big guy like this, Eric Pierce. You got to work those legs and keep him down. There you go. Maybe not quick to close at all with a, with a good close line. Like I said, Oh, good reversal. Take it right in the hand. Ouch. And right there, that, that's showing the, the veteran stat of Eric. The you got to scout your opponent. You can't just say, oh, yeah, um, I'm champion. He's not. You have to pay attention. You have to watch their matches. You have to learn what they do. That's what the best do in this uh, in our league and in wrestling in general. Uh, take it off. What's, that? What's Eric Pierce doing here? He's taking it off. But, uh, that is very nice. How much? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, it's his old school singlet. It's his old school singlet. He's going old school. He industry. has a sock in his pants. Don't believe his dick. <laughs> wow. Wow, well, these fans are relentless, but I'm excited. I'm excited. We have, we've he, always, going back to 2004, all our Holyoke shows, yeah. we've had some rowdy crowds. Take it off. Uh, this is his old school. This is the, the Eric Pierce that we know. Armani trying to get back on the map, get back in the championship picture. Armani had an amazing 2014 Supreme Heavyweight and Heavyweight Champion, Wrestler of the Year. This is not, this is not legal here, but uh, Eric Pierce is choking well, out If you're going to beat a wrestler of the caliber of Ace Armani, you got to do what you got to do, whether you like it or not. What's Eric Pierce going for here? Uh, Oh, it sounds like a little call out there. Douglas here. 
I don't want Eric Douglas to anger him, but I'll, I'll tell you. Call 911, Armani Chad is missing. Wow. Possible. Oh, Armani gets up here. Armani, uh, there's no. Armani is a warrior. We've seen them go through some hellish, hellacious matches in this day. That's for damn sure. I was able to go on the uh, the, the YouTube. The YouTube? The WWE YouTube. wrestling? I got on to, YouTube? I, did, I got to watch a little of Armani's matches, and I have to say, loved what I saw. How about that match with Humberto? He took it to that man. Yeah, oh, that was that not a hellacious match. Yeah. Uh, Ar Armani arguably won the biggest match in WWE history. Oh, he's laying out a shot! At 130. Well, he do his patented double chop, though. Oh. Armani with a beautiful counter. You, you were talking about those educational feet of Armani earlier, Rush, and boom, there we go. They, they got a high GPA 4.0 right there. Better than what I had. I was uh, I was pretty much drunk and stoned most of college. Those were the days. Yeah, well, then oh, I went to win. That was some thunder, but he also brought a little bit of light in. Keeping it mobile, into the cover. Could have a new hybrid champion. Shoulder is up. Shoulder up. Oh, look at that. A little, uh, a little classic right there. Got a shoulder up. Good, good eyes on the record. No oh, my God. Uh-oh. Pierce, Pierce. Big frame with a big cent on all of weight coming down on here. Rush Rush will sell a little uh, money on this. Who do you think is going to come up the winner of this match? Uh, Eric Pierce or Armani? Pierce has had a great title reign. We've already seen one championship run, which is the longest in WWE end today, when Otero lost the championship. That's you know, I think we're going to see another another new champion right here. I think Armani's going to get back on the map as hybrid champion. I believe in Armani. I like the kid, but uh, Eric Pierce got years over him. I'm going to go with Eric Pierce. You know Pierce lo for a long time. I've known Armani for a long time, so I can understand those picks. Oh, thank you. Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker right there, knocking the kids through. That bought Armani some very valuable time, no yeah. doubt about that. Look, he needs that breather. He does. Eric Pierce has been using his weight, he's been keeping oh. him down, keeping him suppressed. Yeah, he's he, he blown up the portion. We've seen Pierce fight through some bad injuries too. That remember that 10 man tag, uh, Pierce got busted wide open like a faucet. That was intense. Yeah. That was an intense match. Oh my god. Wow. With, uh, that was like a powerful dread snap mirror. Thank God for those dreads. Oh, this is why you need the A game referee yeah. at all the time. Yeah, well, you know what? That could have been a three count. It could have been. You're very right. That took a while. But you know what? Oh. That could have worked in Armani's favor. Yeah. No oh, doubt about it. Let's go. Armani here, though. I think he's still hurting from that uh, that snap there. And the dreads did not offer any sort of protection. Oh, here we go. Second one. He got caught. He got caught. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
They're both, they're both down again. I was gonna hit feel it myself. See, back in the day, Armani was known as the most underrated wrestler in WMWA, but now Feel people have him scouted. Pierce has had most of his most scouted, but there's only so much you can do against all those kicks coming out of left field. Oh, that's like you said earlier in the beginning of the match. He's got the educational, educational GPA of 4.0. Well, Pierce did a great job countering that combo for the T-bone suplex. He's going to have to come up with something else here. He's going to have to look out for Armani Ace's to space, too. Oh, close line. There we go. Eric Pierce is coming back a little thunder here. Keep in mind, this is the first ever meeting between these two guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Belly, it was almost a German suplex to a regular backdrop. Oh. Back to belly suplex. Oh, two count. Oh. Two count. Oh. Only two. Oh. Those dreads are not saving Armani, I swear. I thought they'd give him some kind of buoyancy. So, this is an insane it's match. This. It's over. Uh, he's calling for uh -oh. the end. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Armani no, no, got caught. No. There we go. He just did well it. Well, maybe try for that double power bomb. Oh, oh, double power bomb! Oh, oh my god! You don't cover. And we go losing that power bomb. Two, three, three. Oh my god! What? And a match of the year contender, Eric Pierce, defends oh. against uh, Triple Crown winning East Armani. And what a beautiful. Mid Genki, you got me on that one. That was a uh, that was a hell of a match. Had the crowd by the balls. Yeah. I need some medical help here. Shut up, Kincaid. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The match was amazing. Eric Pierce. I'm gonna give, give it up to Pierce. Pierce. You know, give it up for both these men. That was amazing. What an amazing match here. Yeah. Oh, Armani proved why even while he doesn't have a champion, he is a champion at heart. Yeah. What an awesome match. Give it up for these guys. Give it up for these guys. Great match in here, 146 collision course. Awesome. Woo! Four up, baby. Four up. Nice.